text to video. One of the things we have to understand about these text to video tools is that we are dealing with incredible new technology and we are viewing the results of this technology with one of the most sophisticated organs the world has ever seen, the human eye. Human sight is an incredibly discerning sense. We can look at something and viscerally feel something is wrong. It emotionally affects us. There is an effect that some viewers experience when watching animated movies called the uncanny valley effect, i.e. the eerie or unsettling feeling people experience when encountering humanoid objects that are highly realistic but not quite human. When viewing these text-to-video images, we should understand that we're in the Georges Millais and Lumiere brothers' time of generative AI. It took a hundred years to go from Millais, a trip to the moon, to get to its Technicolor and IMAX stage. Generative AI is in the very early stages of its lifespan, and already it's blowing through its metaphorical color and sound stages, heading to its own IMAX stage. Tyler Perry, the Atlanta filmmaker, just announced the cancellation of an $800 million soundstage because he recognized this technology might mitigate the need for all those sound stages. All of these images were created on either Runway AI or Pika Labs with the simple prompts I have listed. They are all only three to four seconds long, which is the usual length of these videos, but videos can be extended as I will explain later. Now, let's look at some of the tools. Runway AI. If you can imagine it, you can generate it, Runway AI boldly claims. Runway is an applied AI research company whose mission is to bring the unlimited creative potential of AI to everyone everywhere. It is focused on shaping the next era of art, entertainment, and human creativity. Its AI tools and platforms have enabled creatives, global brands, and enterprises throughout the world to tell their stories in new and innovative ways. Runway released its first video-to-video -video generative AI model, Gen1, through a website and mobile app. This was followed up with a text-to-video and image-to-video generative AI model called Gen2. Its website is www.runwayml.com. It does have a free and a paid service. We'll use the free subscription version. For free subscription tier users, all Gen 1 and Gen 2 generations come with Runway's traditional tricolor watermark placed in the bottom right corner. Users that subscribe to any paid plan have the option to remove the watermark from all future generations. This is the main and home page. Top left here, you can view your assets. Next to that is TriGen1, which is the video to video generation tool. Also down here, you can do some training as well. Gen2 here is the text to image video creator. So here you can generate videos with text or image prompts. This third one here, you can remove background text to image here so you can generate original image from nothing but text so kind of do what we were doing in mid journey image to image so you also have the ability to transform any image with a text prompt so you upload an image and um, text prompt change it to like in this case a cartoonish image text to speech so you are able to generate audio from text and then if you wanted to check out some tutorials then you can look at these down here image to video. Your assets here are on the left, so let me click on that and I will click on all. This will give you an idea of the assets that you currently have. So now I want to take this image which was created in mid-journey and add some motion to it. I will put it use in Gen 2. I'll add some camera motion. Let's do some horizontal movement, some zooming in. And I also want to use the motion brush feature to add a little movement to these people. You have the ability to use the motion canvas here. They have five brushes which you can use separately on these people. I'll start with some motion on the woman closest to camera. The first brush is pink and it's adding color to her head and chest. 
The second brush is yellow, and I'll add some motion to the woman in the back. Then I'll add some to this man's face, adding some horizontal movement. Now I'll generate this. It normally takes a little bit of time, but I'll speed through that. You can update your subscription if you want shorter wait times. The first woman doesn't move much, but she smiles. The woman's movement in the background almost looks as if she's painting the wall. And the middleman moves away from the wall in a horizontal motion. Going back to the camera motion for a second, you can move horizontally, vertically, pan, tilt, roll, and zoom. All from this image, which started on mid-journey with the prompt a Fellini film two-shot of Marcello Mastriani and a beautiful actress, thermal texture. I think Federico would be proud. Text to video. Now let's return to the dashboard. Click on Start Generating. That will take you to the text slash image to video Gen 2 page. And we will use a prompt which includes close up making pizza dough, throwing into the air, glossy finish, flower, bakery background, Canon EOS R5 50mm lens, f2.8. Now you have the option to add in a seed number here. You can see it right here. Check the interpolate button if you want Gen 2 to smooth out your frames. And here you have the option to upgrade or remove the watermark. You also have six different aspect ratios, 16 to 9, 9 to 16, 1 to 1, 4 to 3, 3 to 4, and 21 to 19. You can also add a style here if you want. There are quite a few different styles, everything from a 3D cartoon to an abstract structure, down through digital art, frost, impressionistic, studio headshot, and thriller. Here again are the camera motions. The motion brush is useful if you have the ability to do a free preview, which is available only if you have a paid subscription. Here is the result. Pretty good. It's only four seconds. The hands are the hands of a grandmother, so perhaps in future, if you want them as younger hands, you might want to mention that. However, I think it has captured the essence of what I was looking for. Text to image. For text to image, let's put in a prompt of anime, a schoolgirl is in the classroom, 4K high resolution. Here you have five options for frame ratio. Wide screen, square, mobile, vertical, landscape, and portrait. The resolution default is 1344 times 768, but you can get up to 2K if you want to upgrade your membership. The style options are the ones similar to last time. You have the option of getting one through four outputs, and the advanced options are prompt weight, so you can decide how much weight the prompt should have. Here you can also see the seed number. You can also add negative prompts as well. You also have the ability to train your own custom model. And here are the four options. Video to video. Here I will take a video I shot of a couple of lions doing a Chinese New Year lion dance enter it into Gen 1 and add a few styles to it. Once your video has been uploaded into Gen 1, click on the Styles button on the right. You'll see options like Android, Balloon Face, Claymation, Cloudscape, ISO, Metal, Space, Abstract, Pet Cartoon, all the way down to Futuristic, Illustration, and Sci-Fi. Now you can see a preview of the styles, and here I'll preview the Futuristic, the Sci-Fi, the illustration, and the metal styles. Click on the style you want previewed, and then click on the preview button at the bottom. Gen 1 will provide you with four images from the video, and you can generate any of them. I'll also test out the sci-fi style, as well as the illustration style, and the metal style, which is the one I will generate some frames from. Here you can see the original video against the Gen 1 video to video production steel. You can see the lions encased in steel. Seed numbers. 
Looking to maintain a consistent visual style across multiple clips in both Gen 1 and Gen 2? Consider using seed numbers. Think of seeds as a visual DNA for a clip, offering a stylistic foundation for the model during video generation. Prompt modifiers. Modifiers augment the final output to match a certain style. Words like masterpiece, cinematic, or classical give runway context clues to the model around the style of video that a user is trying to achieve. For example, telling Runway to make a cinematic video of a sunrise will produce a video looking like something out of a movie. Structuring Runway Prompts According to Runway, a simple but effective way to structure your prompts is to use this format. Base prompt in the style of style, comma, aesthetic. For example, you could say a serene beach at sunset in the style of a Monet painting, cinematic pastel colors. This gives Runway a clear idea of what you want, both in terms of content and style. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.